How's it been for you uh, walking the streets? A little intense. <laughs> um, the first day was so quiet. I got here on a Thursday, and it was, you know, it was really simple. And no one was on the street. It was easy. And then by day two, it was a, a pretty crazy thing. But um, it's been fun. You know, I, I feel like there's a lot of love uh, in this city just for for the whole thing. You know, just being here and, and um, experiencing Sundance. So I'm just as much a fan as I am. You know, happy to be here for this film. This is a big move for you, I would say. Just fell in love with the, with the story. Um, it's the kind of thing that when there's an actor, you read it and you you, you kind of start, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just getting excited seeing yourself in it and, and thinking about how you can approach it. And I thought my audition was terrible. I left thinking, oh man, I screwed it up, I'm done. And they called me and said I got it, so that was good. But it's been mm -hmm. an interesting ride. What kind of research did you do for that? Did it change your opinions on fraternities? I didn't have a college experience. Actually, none of the principal actors did. Before we started shooting, our director, he uh, gave me a few things to watch. Um, there's this great documentary called Frat House, which mm -hmm. is one of the, the, I think, the most real looks into uh, fraternity hazing and what that the dark side of that looks like. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think my opinion of fraternities is, is really, uh, it's tough to say now. You know, I, I don't know that after what I've experienced in making this film that I would want to join a fraternity. I, I think there are a lot of good things, and, and this film is not an indictment of fraternities by any means. It's, it's more a commentary on, on masculinity in 2016, mm -hmm. what that looks like. Speaking of brothers, anybody here? Uh, uh, Joe, Joe, anybody Joe flew in last night, okay. actually. He, he missed um, the premiere night. He was doing a show up in Toronto with his new band. Um, but he came last night to celebrate, and. He said he ran into my castmates walking down the street, and he felt like it, you know, it was his, his college roommates or something. It was really sweet. And the little one, he's not really little anymore. He's like six feet tall and very handsome. He's <laughs> off to college soon. Frankie. Oh, I forgot. There's another one, of yeah. course, right? Oh my God. He's off to college. I'm gonna make him watch this movie for sure. Do you miss that at all? What you know, the Jonas Brothers, the. Well, you know, it's interesting. Joe's Joe's band was on the Jingle Ball tour um, this last winter, and I was on the tour as well. And it was the first time since the split up that we've kind of traveled together in a way, working wise. Um, so I've, I've actually spent a lot of time with him over the last mm -hmm. couple months, which has been nice. For you, the, the essence of performing, obviously, in, in film, and, and you're a great live performer. Is there one that you prefer more than the other? I really have admiration for people like Gaga, for instance, this year, and what she's been able to do with music and mm -hmm. acting and really progressing in both. You know, and the music is, is always there. It's, mm -hmm. it's within me, so I'm, I'm, it's not really a conscious choice to do both, it's just there.